Greenville, South Carolina. Okay, I've got the new iPad updated. I've got the solo software updated. I installed a couple of apps. Uh, let's see. Fresh battery in the GoPro on the solo. Got everything set up ready to go. Modified the bracket a little bit for the solo controller for the new iPad to clip in. Problem is, this thing's just a little bit short, just a hair. So it spreads this bottom thing. So what I did is I basically peeled this rubber foot to use as a bumper. And that keeps the bottom from kicking out. The top is cur curved down so it holds the top in place. So it's all set and ready to go. Uh, got the iPad recharging right now. And after I get done editing yesterday's video, there's nothing to see here, really. I mean, nothing. But I'm going to go ahead and take it up, test it out with the new iPad. Uh, check for video latency. See how good everything shows up. It's been a pain in the butt getting all this stuff set up. But I should be able to have a lot better visibility. Okay, now let's compare screen size. Alright, this is what I've been, what I got. That's what I've been using. I'd definitely be able to see a whole lot better. So, depending on how things look, I also can record straight to the iPad. Uh, so, you can actually see what I see on the monitor. Uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> In a way. Uh, not really for production videos, but just in general, and also it only records in 720p, whereas the camera is flying in 4K and recording in 4K. And it has to do with the output of the GoPro only outputting 720p out of the port that's used for quadcopter. But I've been at this for a couple hours now. I also had to edit up the day before yesterday, which I hadn't done yet. Now I'm editing up yesterday's. I hope you like the new way I'm doing things with the road footage being background and my talking stuff being small picture and picture. It's keeping the video shorter and I'm not having to insert music and stuff like that in there. But on my flight videos I will still add music. Uh, common sense. We don't want to hear the props go you know, for the entire flight. It gets annoying. I watch a whole lot of videos on YouTube, a whole lot of drone videos on YouTube, and I really hate listening to that buzzing the whole time. So let me get back to editing so I can go flying. So today, they 
is our dishwasher. stops here at unattended compressed natural gas fueling station but it's part of the travel center across the street the Texas best in Longview Texas so there will be good food available we're going to be sitting here for about 26, 27 hours because we do not deliver until 11.30 a.m. local 42 miles from here on Sunday it is now Saturday morning 10 minutes to 5 should be a beautiful day so in a couple hours if I'm still up or if I haven't wake up or whatever, we're gonna move across the street once uh, some parking becomes available over there. And we'll try to make the best of being stuck out on the road over a holiday weekend because after we make our delivery, we got another 36 hours to go 100 miles so we might just come right back here if you enjoyed the vlog please share have a wonderful wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow bye